The Secrets of Isis, we did that in 1975 as a companion piece to Shazam. Uh, she would have been, and she probably was, the first live action animated superheroine ever done for television. It was before they did anything like the Wonder Woman or the Bionic Woman. And I had thought about this for a long time. Again, living in a household full of ladies, you've got to think about doing shows that really uh, relate to them, too. We, and I, I went back to Silverman at CBS, and I said, I'd like to do an animated, a live, rather, a live companion show to, uh, to, sh to, uh, to Shazam. And they put it together as the Shaz Shazam Isis Hour. And the thing, it, it, it really roared. It was an incredibly uh, successful show. I can't uh, talk about Isis without talking about Mark Richards. He was a writer who was phenomenally gifted. He was the fastest writer we ever had. He was incredible. He could do a half-hour show in a day, and but they would be good half-hour shows. I went to talk to Mark about it, and I, I suggested he think about it, because it would be sort of out of the different thing for him. I mean, he was doing comedy stuff all the time, and I was wondering how he could work on developing a live-action adventure show. And he literally came up with the concept of doing it as a, as a uh, as an archaeologist, a teacher who was on an archaeological uh, trip d digging up an ancient Egyptian piece of jewelry that gave her all sorts of powers. I went back to CBS, showed them what we had done, we did a bunch of drawings, and it's sort of almost like the stuff that we use in the main title. Uh, they bought it, and then we had to find somebody to do it, and we found a very, very beautiful, very, very uh, talented young lady with great legs named Joanna Cameron. I was thinking about Brian Cutler. I don't I think an agent introduced us to him. I can't quite remember. But it was, a, it was really interesting. The other day I saw for the first time in many, many years the guy who did Jason Star Command. If you look at those two guys back then, they were both the same, almost the same guy. Big, tall, husky, lithe, handsome. And, they, and, and, they, it was, and Brian was the second banana in this, which never happened on Saturday morning with, with man, man and woman. The man is never second banana. He was a second banana and a very good one. Then we had the two young ladies, uh, Joanna Pank, jo two Joannas for the price of one. Joanna, I never thought about it. Joanna Pang was not a pain. She was a very nice oriental girl. First on Saturday morning again live never had been done before. There was multi-ethnic, multicultural, and the next year we used a charming young African-American girl named Ronalda Douglas. I think they were, did they ever do a show together with, uh, with Joanna Pang and Ronalda Douglas? I don't think they ever did. Why was that? Well, I'll find out. If I find out, I'll tell you people out there. It's interesting. We, we talk about uh, what we did with uh, He-Man and how the fans were so important to the success of the show and the success of the DVDs. But ISIS, from what I can see, has a huge fan support. I mean, there, I, and I, I, how do those, those kids remember? Well, they're not kids anymore. You guys out there who are watching that are now 35 and 40 years old. I would really like to, to think about what this means to the fans, and what the fans mean to, when I say us, I mean the people who produce that show, the people who are in that show, the actors who up till the day remember that as a wonderful experience. And I want to thank those people because they are bringing back the DVDs. If they did not exist, they certainly would not be done for the new generation of kids because they wouldn't understand what they were talking about. But as parents and as, and, and, and as adults, and with their enthusiasm, it just makes all of us who worked on it feel very, very good, and I want to thank them very much. Oh, my queen, said the royal sorcerer to Hatshepsut, with this amulet, you and your descendants are endowed by the goddess Isis. 
with the powers of the animals and the elements. You will soar as the falcon soars, run with the speed of gazelles, and command the elements of sky and earth. 3,000 years later, a young science teacher dug up this lost treasure and found she was heir to the secrets of Isis. And so, unknown to even her closest friends, Rick Mason and Rennie Carroll, she became a dual person. Andrea Thomas, teacher. Oh, mighty Isis. And Isis, dedicated foe of evil, defender of the weak, champion of truth and justice. <laughs>